Hello fellow coffee lovers. Today I'm excited to share our full detailed coffee making routine. Typically we like to make two separate cups of coffee per day and we like to switch it up a bit. So in the morning we keep it rather simple and just have a nice simple cup of pour over coffee. And then in the afternoon we like to make it more of a treat, more of an experience. So we'll typically make some sort of fancy latte and it's just so fun. I feel like making and brewing coffee is such a beautiful form of art, honestly. And there's so many amazing ways to make coffee. And I feel like we've tried everything under the sun. We have a mocha pot, French press. I've had Keurig coffee, coffee maker coffee, you name it. So these two ways that I'm gonna show you today are by far our absolute favorite ways to make coffee. As of now, you know, it's ever evolving, ever changing, but these are our tried and true of the moment. And I hope you enjoy the routines. In the morning, we use our Chemex, which is a manual pour over style glass coffee maker. Even though it doesn't take a super long time to brew, we love that it's an active experience and encourages us to slow down and be more mindful in the mornings. I usually make us two and a half cups, so I fill the kettle with water and boil until the water reaches around 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And I pour it over about four and a half tablespoons of freshly ground coffee beans. Chemex sells paper filters, which we use occasionally, but I also found these reusable cotton ones that we use on most days. There actually is quite an art and science to the way you pour your water over the grounds, and I've learned that it's best to saturate the filter before pouring into your grounds, and then you have to let your grounds bloom, which sounds so romantic, but essentially how you do this is pouring in about half of the amount of water there is to coffee, so you can just visually try to do this, and then let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds and a successful bloom essentially allows an even saturation. And then once I've given it the chance to bloom, I pour in a circular pattern starting in the center and I just spiral outwards. I've also been adding a splash of macadamia milk and a squeeze of honey to serve. Watching the steam roll off my coffee mug as it filters through the morning light is one of my favorite things to witness. Brandon is the latte expert around here, so he did this demonstration for us. We are still learning how to steam milk properly, but nevertheless, these drinks taste so lovely. We use our Breville Bambino, and we love how powerful yet compact it is. We brew up a double shot of dark ground coffee and top it with frothed macadamia milk. That has been our go-to lately. We eyeball it, but we typically add about one fourth or a half a cup of milk to our little pitcher before we froth it. Also add honey and cinnamon but most days we like to keep it simple I always love to see the layers of steamed and foamed milk take shape Hope you enjoyed seeing our coffee routine. I would love to hear your favorite ways to make coffee in the comments below, but cheers to all my fellow coffee lovers. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.